Hey friends, I am Shaz and welcome back to the Ministry of Reviews. In this video today, I will review another portable CarPlay screen. This portable screen is from the famous Lamto brand and it's called RC14. Now I've tested so many different models from this company in the past uh, on my channel and I can tell you all those uh, screens worked quite nicely. Um, you know, they're very durable uh, and they look quite nice in the car as well. Now these screens are ideal for people who don't have any screen in their car or if they have a screen, it's not a multimedia screen. So this screen is actually a 9.3 inch IPC uh, touchscreen. Uh, it comes with the standard uh, wireless Apple CarPlay, wireless Android Auto. Um, it's com it comes with 64 GB uh, uh, micro SD card as a freebie, uh, which is important to record the footage from the front camera and the rear view camera. Um, now it comes with a 4K high quality front dash cam as well as a full HD 1080p reverse backup parking camera. Uh, it's got features like mobile screen mirroring, connecting the screen with your mobile, connecting the screen with the sound system of your car and so many other uh, different features. Now let me set this up in my car and then we start testing the different functions and features of this uh, new Lamto RC14 9.3 inch portable CarPlay screen. So keep watching guys. All right, friends, so I'm in my car and I've already set this up uh, on the dashboard of my car. In fact, I've connected this with the windshield here. Um, now, I already have a screen in my car, so I'm not going to permanently install this portable screen. I've just set it up temporarily for the video now. Um, the other thing I won't do is not connect the parking camera or the reverse camera. I already have an original one in my car, so I'm not going to set that up, but it's quite easy to do that. Um, so this is the landing page. It takes about five seconds when you switch on the car for this screen to come up. So it doesn't take a lot of time. It's not an Android device that needs to load. Uh, it's a, a very quick boot up speed. Um, and as soon as you switch it on, this is the main page or the landing page of the screen, which looks quite nice. It's very clean, uh, very neat, you know, with the uh, big icons, it's not cluttered. Um, so let me give you a quick uh, overview or a tour of uh, the layout here. On the left side, you've got this button, which is the home page, which is this page. Then you can adjust the brightness of the screen or you can set this up to auto. So, you know, during the night it will change and uh, versus uh, during the day. Then you can also uh, change the volume of the output. Now, you know, these are different ways to connect the sound system and we'll come back to that in a while. Uh, and then we have this, which is the camera. This is basically uh, shows you the footage uh, from the main dash cam. But if you've got the, the parking camera connected, then you can also have an option of two screens side by side. So split screen, you can have the front view camera here. And on the right side, you can have the parking or the rever reverse camera view. Um, so let's go back to the home page. Now you've got date and time here. And then on the right side, on top, you've got the connectivity here. So this sign tells you that the, the footage is getting recorded. There's SD card installed. And then you've got connections with the Bluetooth and all. Uh, and then you've got these eight main icons. These are the main functions uh, on this portable screen. This is the wireless CarPlay, wireless Android Auto. AirPlay is for the mobile screen mirroring. And then you've got Android Cast. So AirPlay place for iPhone and Android cast is for Android mobiles and these two are for mobile screen mirroring. Then you've got the BT music so you can connect your mobile to this screen and play uh, music uh, through the Bluetooth connectivity. Uh, and then you've got audio output. Um, now audio output basically links the sound from this portable screen to the sound system of your car. And then you've got the playback. Now you can actually play the recorded footage that is stored on the micro SD card from either the front or the back camera. And then you've got uh, the settings section. So let's uh, go through the settings. Um, now, within the settings section, you've got three main areas. You've got the general settings. Within general, you've got uh, the screen saver. You can set this up left or right hand drive. Uh, you can have the split screen mode as well. So you can have, uh, you know, things like uh, camera on one side and CarPlay on the other side. So if you want the front view, uh, cam uh, always on on one side you can do that and on the left side you can have things like carplay or android auto as you can see it on the screen uh, then you've got the brightness um, we've discussed that assistive touch clear connections and services uh, next one is the camera now you can also set the settings for the camera so first one is record resolution so you click on that and then you can select up to 4k um, let's do that uh, then you can select the duration of the recording. So let's uh, 
do it for five minutes so every uh, file that gets uh, recorded and saved on the sd card would be a five minute uh, video file then you can also select the collision sensitivity so the nice thing with this screen is that it will auto uh, start recording the footage as soon as it detects any shock or collision and you can select the sensitivity of that i've just set it up to middle then you've got the microphone now as i said earlier it comes with a built-in microphone which is right at the bottom here um, then you've got the rear mirror image you can do that now once you connect the back camera or the parking camera you can also uh, set the line calibration this is a reverse line calibration and you can play around with it it's uh, quite easy to do that and it's very useful um, and uh, let's go back to this page and then finally you've got the system settings this is where you can select the language or the sound settings date time storage and so on so these are all the settings available on this um, now the other nice thing as i mentioned earlier is that you can connect the sound uh, or the audio from this portable screen to the sound system of your car there are several ways to do that so for that we need to click on this audio output and you can see the first one is the speaker now as i said earlier this portable screen comes with a very powerful built-in speaker right at the back so if you don't want to connect this with the sound system of your car uh, you know the sound the speaker built-in speaker is is loud enough to you know give you good audio output uh, the other one is uh, bt audio now if your car has the bluetooth connectivity you can connect your mobile to the car and then you can also connect your mobile to the screen through the carplay or the android mod uh, then you've got the fm transmission this is another wireless uh, technique to uh, link the sound from this portable screen to the sound system of the car you can uh, just set a frequency of FM frequency on the portable screen like 106.0 and then go to the radio system of your car and select the exact same frequency and as soon as you do that the audio will be then linked from this portable screen to the sound system of your car and then finally if you don't want to do all these wireless techniques you can use the aux audio cable that comes in the box to connect at the back of the, or the side of the screen to the aux slot in your car that's probably the easiest way to do that we'll just simply use this built-in speaker uh, which i think is quite uh, quite loud enough and we can increase the volume of that as well all right so these are all the different functions and features um, we can go into the playback section and you'll see we've got all the uh, recorded either video or, or the uh, or the photos available and you can simply click on any of the video and then uh, you know you start playing that so quite easy to use um, or you can take uh, use a micro SD card uh, to your laptop and then transfer all the recorded footage onto your computers. Uh, so what we will do is in order to test the performance of this 9.3 inch LAMP 2 RC14 portable screen, I will start testing some of the functions and features, um, things like the CarPlay, Android Auto, mobile screen mirroring. So keep watching guys. All right, so the first thing I would like to test on this screen is uh, the wireless CarPlay. Uh, so what we need to do is click on this CarPlay icon here. Uh, and then we get the instructions on, uh, on how to connect it to CarPlay. So what we need to do is go to the iPhone, um, go to the Bluetooth settings and look for this new device. This is uh, basically T86 Pro. There you go. Pair it allow it to sync contacts and favorites and then use carplay that's it so just a few simple uh, messages that you get on the screen and uh, and then in a few seconds you should be able to see the home page of apple carplay appear on the screen just like this now this is a one-time setup you don't need to do this connection every time you sit in the car this is done you just need to make sure that the bluetooth on your iphone is switched on the next time you sit in the car and then as soon as this device turns on it will automatically detect the connection and then take you to the apple carplay home page which is in fact this so this is the main home page or the or the landing page of apple carplay where you've got the split screen left navigation navigation and uh, on media on the right side you've got some shortcut icons on the left side as well um, and then if you click this you get to see all the different applications that are uh, available and installed on your mobile um, now i won't be uh, taking you through the different functions and features of apple carplay in this video all i wanted to see was whether we can connect uh, our iphones uh, to the screen to the apple carplay platform and as you can see you can um, as i said earlier you can play uh, the music 
if you want uh, you can uh, in fact because uh, I haven't connected this the sound system of my car but I've uh, we can use the built-in powerful speakers all right so as you can see it's quite loud it's very powerful um, and you don't really need to connect it with the system of your car if you don't want to uh, you know, these built-in speakers are quite loud enough. Um, let's go out and then, uh, so this was the music. You can make calls, you can, uh, you know, search for locations on the navigation. You can diff use different navigation apps depending on the ones that are installed on your, uh, on your mobile. Um, and you know all the standard functions and features can be used here as well so apple carplay looks uh, quite nice very quick to connect uh, the screen is also quite responsive you can see this is the map and when you move around the screen is quite responsive that's really good uh, and the brightness is also quite good now i'm i'm shooting the video right in midday uh, a lot of brightness a lot of sunlight and that's why you know uh, you can see that the screen is still quite visible absolutely no issues using this screen during the daytime as well all right so now let's uh, try to connect the wireless android auto system so we click on this android auto we confirm the switch uh, and then it will take us to the same instructions page this is basically where you find all the instructions on how to connect this to the system uh, and what you need to do is basically uh, go to your Android mobile I've got my um, Samsung here and just simply go to the connections and look for the Bluetooth and uh, we should be able to see this new device as T86 Pro there you go T86 Pro we click on it and then we just pair the device there you go we get one message of pairing and that's it so uh, the android auto is is a bit quicker to connect compared to the apple carplay you just get one message uh, and then as soon as you click on that message the connection will start to establish and uh, it will take a second or two to get to the main home page of uh, android auto you get you can get to see the navigation on this side uh, now i don't have location switched on on my mobile and that's why we can't see the look, uh, the navigation here then you have the media running on the right side you've got shortcut icons now on this android auto system as well as the apple carplay system you can use the voice assistant you can use siri on iphone and the google voice assistant here um, and uh, you can simply use uh, voice instructions instead of actually clicking on it so it's quite easy and convenient you've got shortcut icons here you can click on this to get full page navigation we don't have that switched on you can you know play music through uh, spotify you can make calls as well uh, and then on this one you can actually go to the full screen view so you can see all the different apps that are available to you uh, on the Android auto system that looks like this um, and then you can go to the settings and change the look and feel of uh, of the layout the icons the wallpaper and the rest again I will not explain the different functions and features of Android auto in this video all I wanted to see was whether we can connect to Android auto and we can actually connect it and it's a very quick connection and this is a one-time connection you don't have to worry about connecting this every time you sit in the car as long as the Bluetooth is switched on on your Android mobile the screen will detect the connection and then give an option of going into the Android Auto platform uh, that uh, looks like this so quite nice um, you know it's very easy and quick to connect both Apple CarPlay as well as the Android Auto on this portable screen all right friends so now let's uh, try the mobile screen mirroring on the on the iphone i've got my iphone here and uh, i'll do it on the iphone but you can do this on the android mobile as well through the android cast app here uh, so let's do the iphone mobile screen mirroring so as soon as you click on that airplay you get to see instructions on how to do that and it's very easy you get all the instructions on the screen as well you don't even have to consult the user guide or the user manual that comes in the box so for mobile screen mirroring what you need to do is go to your iphone uh, and then go to the settings within settings go to the wi-fi area and then within wi-fi then look for this new device it's called airplay there you go this is the one and then the password is from one to eight so basically what we're doing here is connecting the mobile with the screen through the wi-fi uh, so that we can easily uh, screen the uh, the mirror of the mobile so now you can see it's connected 
what we need to do is drop down from top right, go to the command center here, click on mobile screen mirroring. There you go. So very quick to uh, connect. The screen mirroring is on, as you can see. Um, and the nice thing with this one is that uh, you won't uh, you know, experience much lag when you have it running on the mobile. As you can see, this is Instagram. And when you move the screen on the mobile, it uh, moves at the same time on the portable screen as well. So you don't have a lot of uh, lag when playing this. And this is honestly ideal for playing uh, you know, uh, things like YouTube or any video streaming apps on your mobile or watching you know, your videos or, or pictures through the private video gallery um, or any other social media platform, right? So everything can be easily played and mirrored on the screen here and uh, it looks quite nice. And the good thing is that there is no lag, which is quite important. So as I mentioned earlier, there are two cameras uh, with this portable screen. You've got a front uh, dash cam, which is a very high resolution 4K front dash cam, as well as a parking 1080p full HD camera. I haven't uh, installed the parking camera because my car already has one. But what I can do is actually show you some of the footage that uh, I've recorded from the front 4K dash cam. And as you can see on the screen, it's, uh, it's very nice. It's very, very clear, crisp. Uh, the brightness is nice. And the best thing I like about this front camera is the wide angle view. You can, uh, you know, get from top, from the left side to the right side, a lot of area covered uh, by this front 4K camera. And again, the clarity is amazing. You can easily read out the num number plates on the car around you. And, uh, you know, everything looks very, very nice. All right, friends, so now let's uh, do the unboxing of this uh, Lamto 9.3 inch RC14 portable car screen. Now uh, it comes in this standard box and I've seen uh, quite a few of the portable screens come in this type of packaging. So you've got the image here, you've got the model right on the left side and some details mentioned on it. So now let's open the box. All right, so we get uh, the screen. This is a 9.3 inch uh, screen. Now uh, let's, uh, we'll come back to this, but let's check out the other contents in the box. All right, so we get the cigarette lighter adapter. Uh, this is uh, for power. And uh, the good thing here is that it's a very long cable, so you can very easily wire this in your car. And then you get the USB. This is an extra USB slot, so it doesn't occupy your cigarette lighter. Even if you connect this, you would still have this power access for mobile charging. So that's a nice thing. Um, then you get the 1080p full HD reverse camera kit. This is a parking camera kit, so you've got a very long cable and then the cam camera and some accessories, screws, you know, everything that you need to install this. And then we have uh, this accessory kit. Now this is uh, the aux audio cable. And then we've got some accessories to install the screen on your on the dashboard. So you've got the two-sided, double-sided tape as well, and some extra you know, accessories to install it. And then we've got this uh, mounting bracket. Now this is a telescopic mounting bracket. Now this device, so this screen comes with two mounting brackets. This is uh, the one for the windshield. So you can connect this suction cup to the windshield or even with the dashboard if you want and then connect the screen on this side. And the nice thing with this is that you can actually adjust the length. That's why it's called the telescopic mounting bracket. All right, and then uh, obviously you can adjust uh, the view. And then finally, we've got some uh, user manual, user guide, some documentation along with it. All right, so now uh, let's uh, come back to the portable screen. Let's have a closer look at this. All right, so as you can see, this one comes pre-installed with this dashboard mounting bracket. So you get two mounting brackets, one for the dashboard, the other one for the windshield. Um, and this is already pre-installed, so you can just pull this to remove it if you want. Um, so this is a 9.3 inch 
landscape kind of a, a rectangular designed portable screen um, now let me give you a quick overview of the connections now right on the front side you'll see this is the built-in mic here um, and then on top you've got the power button here and then uh, looking at the back we've got uh, this is the built-in speaker now this uh, screen comes with the powerful built-in speaker uh, so if you don't want to connect it with the system of your car you can still use uh, the screen with the built-in speaker this is the reset button right here uh, and then you've got this very nice 4k front dash cam and this is an adjustable dash cam so you can pull this up if you want and then you know move this right or left the lens so that's quite nice um, and then in terms of the connections you've got all the connections on this side so the connections you have is this is uh, type C for power and uh, then you've got one for AV in this is for the camera this is parking camera connects here uh, this is for aux audio cable connection and then this one is the SD memory card or the micro SD TF card and this screen comes with a freebie which is a free gift of 64 GB uh, memory card which is already installed as you can see here so these are all the connections very simple uh, it's not complicated it's a it's a very nice uh, kind of plug and play self-service uh, device that you can set this up in your car yourself you don't really need a lot of professional help you the only help that you might need is with the installation of the rear reverse camera or the backup camera other than that if you don't want to install that in your car uh, the rest of the things that you can do it yourself it's so easy that's it friends so this was a quick review of this uh, nice portable carplay screen uh, we've tested different functions and features everything works quite nicely um, no glitch no issues at all um, i've tested different models from this lamto company in the past and i can tell you all those models work quite nicely they're quite durable as well um, so this screen is ideal for people who don't have a screen in their car or if they have a screen it's not a multimedia screen uh, if you like it if you want to buy this screen simply go to the link in the description of the video it will take you directly to the official store where you can buy this nice Lamto RC 14 9.3 inch portable carplay screen that's it friends if you like my content you can go and support this channel with the super thanks icon below and if you are new to my channel please do subscribe and click on that bell icon so you won't miss out on any of my upcoming videos thanks for watching guys